I think he would say is, don't worry, I'm okay. And it's going to be okay. I'm in a better place. That is Jim Waters' pastor comforting the hundreds of people gathered today at the deputy chief's funeral at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Jim Waters died last week after that car crash on I-70. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich joins us. She's at Crown Hill Cemetery, where Waters was buried in the Heroes of Public Safety section. Jenny. Yeah, very fitting, Anne-Marie. This area is reserved for the men and women who dedicate their lives to protecting the public and lifting up the community. And what a beautiful spot for the final resting place for Deputy Chief Waters. It is shaded, it is personal, and hundreds of officers, friends, and family came here to this spot to say their final farewell today. It was steeped in tradition. Those are the IMPD buglers who ended graveside services with taps. But another beautiful moment was before the ceremony even began. It was watching the procession, the hundreds of patrol cars, lights on, sirens silent, file into Crown Hill. What an incredible show of support for their fallen brother in blue. Another special part of the service is here, the flag folding ceremony, performed by the eight-member honor guard team. The purpose? Give Deputy Chief Waters' family a solemn salute to his service. Fellow officers say it is that service and personal connection he made with everyone he met that they'll miss the most. He made work and made what we do enjoyable and rewarding. And, you know, that's not always easy. We kind of, I take it for granted having been around him so much, but um, definitely a gift that he had, and I'll miss that. And I can tell you that during the service, the prayer portion of the service, the preacher kind of echoed those sentiments. She, she said he made a big difference in her life as well. She said, we will miss this officer. I will miss my friend. Scott and Anne-Marie. Jenny Renovich reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.